training intense training sessions and and then we refresh, refreshed uh, at the end of this week so the preparation's been good and the guys are pretty confident if the Tigers are to complete a hat trick they'll have to overcome a youthful Teatatu lineup who were running hot for three quarters of last week's preliminary final with Richmond leading 32 to 6 at one stage but eventually winning by just four points Despite falling asleep in the final quarter last week, the Roosters have been on a roll. And coach Ron O'Regan puts it down to some key players hitting their straps at the right time. Players coming back to form and the likes of David Bailey and Phil Robarts. Uh, before I come back and took over six, seven weeks ago, they, they, both those guys were playing reserve grade. And they've just enjoyed the opportunity to play top football again. And they're making, every, uh, making the most of the opportunity. OK, in Northcote, they're going to be tough to beat, aren't they? They're going to be very tough. You know, we're saying in our camp we're confident, but in the same sense, we really respect them. We know they're going to be hard. They've got the big match players. They've got the big forwards. What we've got is a team of young, keen footballers, and we're going to use that the best, pot, best chance possible. Uh, Kiwi skipper Gary Freeman will be at the grand final, and while he has to get used to wearing a Panthers jersey, he's worn an Eastern Suburbs Roosters uniform before, as well as a Northcote and Belmain Tigers strip. Deep down, he's still a Tiger fan. Yeah, we'll be the Tigers, mate, and uh, hopefully they'll go really well. Uh, Gary Kimball's pretty confident that they can come out with their third uh, consecutive victory, and uh, I wish them all the best and all the players. You were there when they won their first Fox Memorial Grand Final. They've won quite a few since then. Does that mean they've improved? <laughs> yeah, I think they've just gotten a lot better since I've left. <laughs> the Grand Final breakfast was the prelim. Now it's time for the main event. We're counting down to the big one at Carlow Park and no prizes for guessing who Peter Brown, the former Kiwi prop, is tipping today because he was in the only Teatta 2 team to ever win the Fox Memorial Grand Final. That was back in 1988. Peter, you're confident they can do it again today? Yeah, quite confident, Greg. I think Teatta 2 are on a roll at the moment, but not overconfident. North, Northcote are a very formidable side, but uh, I think it really comes down to how David Bailey and Henry Paul control the game. They got a good kicking game and then Teatta 2 have got a good chance. Our two experts leaning towards an upset, the added two. OK, let's meet the teams for the grand final, starting with the North Coast Tigers. And it's Dave McIntosh at fullback, McIntyre and Viafar on the wings, Elia and Hellaso in the centres, the halves are McIntosh and Phillip, Andrew Brown and Davies in the front row, along with the hooker Richard Greer, Palmata and Ofoa in the second row, Willie Poaching is the loose forward and the coach is Gary Kemble. Teatatu, Tangaloa at fullback, Nuku Nuku and Robbie Paul on the wings. Carline and the captain, David Bailey in the centres. The halves are Henry Paul and Kinney in the front row. Chambers and Edwards and the hooker is Fred Robarts. The second row is Colassie and Ryan. And the loose forward is Phil Robarts. The coach, Ron O'Regan. Beautiful conditions at Carlaw. And the Fox Memorial Grand Final is underway. First touch of the ball for the North Coast Tigers. Poaching, Willie Poaching, a warrior in 95 in the first penalty, Tiana 2 over vigorous in the tackle, the referee today, the international, Dennis Hale, Kurt Sherlock, a bit of a nervous start for Tiana 2, you can't afford to give away all the penalties. Well you can't, but at the same time they know that they've got to be aggressive in defence, uh, so uh, you know, they're going to go out with uh, no holds barred. Charges onto it. 30 out from the Teatro 2 line. Richard Greer waits for it. Phillips at halfback. Ken McIntosh. Mike Davies, a big forward pack. And Peter Brown, the Roosters have to contain them. Yeah, I think Northgate are just going to play their big forwards one more out of the ruck and try and take on the Teatro 2 halves. Greer, Phillips. Macintosh, there's the kick over into open spaces. Lawrence Tungalow is back, takes it a couple of metres out from his own line. Well, Teatro 2 have proved to be pretty solid in the past, and uh, Tungalow has been quite impressive with the, with the kicks through, especially under the high ball. Talking about kicks, what's the conditions like at the moment, Peter? Oh, to be honest, Craig, they're right in Northcote's favour. Northcote have got a fantastic kick and chase game, so Teddy has got to be on their ball, and Lawrence Tagalow has got to be in position. Robots, good strong run by the loose forward. That's Phil Robots. Henry Paul, the junior Kiwi skipper. Penalty to Teatro 2. Northcote offside inside the five. 
Yeah, Henry Paul making a little bit of a dart from dummy half, but uh, Northcote players offside. Mark Chambers. Pretty solid defence by Northcote. Kenny looking for the runners. It's the other front rower, Edwards, Anthony Edwards. 45 metres out from the Northcote line. Kenny. Steve Bryan. The Teatro two second rowers have been in good form. Ryan and Colassi in recent weeks. Kenny, the playmaker at halfback. Robarts out of one. I tell you what, this Robarts is making yards every time he touches the ball. He had a great game against Richmond last week. Very hard runner, and uh, Teatro will be looking for him to get out wide. Henry Paul. Bailey, Kenny, into open spaces, looking for the touchline. Johnnery McIntyre has to dive on it, only five metres out from his own line. Now the pressure on Northcote. David McIntosh. The Northcote players a little bit slow to uh, get back and support their uh, their teammates there, Brownie. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, bit hectic pace at the moment, but I, I don't know how you think, Kurt, but I think uh, Mike Kenny should be more involved in the first first play of the ball and try and get Ted Forwards going forward all the time. Elia, the big step. They didn't fall for it this time. 20 metres out from the Tigers line. Palliso looking for the clearing kick. Plenty of time. Tangaloa. Lawrence Tangaloa. from McIntosh with a good return of the football by the young fullback to the halfway line. Steve Ryan. So another penalty to Teata 2. Yeah, good hard running from the Teata 2 forwards and uh, Northcote offside again. Too high. Yeah, I think Teata 2 are just trying to hit the post here and try for a short blind. I think that's where Northcote's susceptible. Good run from Mark Chambers. A chance here for the Roosters. Nil all the score in the Fox Grand Final. They're 10 metres out. Switch of play. Robarts, he won't get away from Andrew Brown. From dummy half, they're having a go. Getting over the line, and it's the first try of the match. The hooker Fred Robarts has done it for the Roosters. Four points to nil. What a start for the other two. Fred Robarts, he caught the napping. Northcote paid the penalty. Well, that's a super start from Teatro 2. They've started just like they did last week. Great running from Robarts from dummy half. Strong run, powered his way over the line in two tackles. Yeah, Fred Roach, he's just come on really strong the last couple of weeks. Just look at that try, just so quick out of the dummy half. I think with the Warriors, they've signed the wrong hookers here. I think Fred Ro Robo should be one of the first signs. Well, he's had uh, plenty of determination on his face over recent weeks, but have a look at it this time. He backed himself. Hale, the referee, was on spot. There's touch in goal judges as well. Rod O'Regan, the Teata 2 coach. An unconverted try to Teatro 2 gives him a good start. And that's a bad mistake by Northcote. The kickoff went over the dead ball line on the full penalty to Teatro 2. Dennis Hale had to be reminded to put the finger the right way. He shares a joke with them. Peter? Yeah, that's just a big help to Teatro 2 at the moment. Instead of being in their own 22, now they're in the North Coast half. They can dominate some play and try and get in the North Coast 22. And Teatro 2 certainly thrive on confidence, don't they? So they'll be happy with the way things are going. Oh, when they're going forward and it gives uh, Fred Robarts the opportunity to go from dummy half, and that's where all our play comes. Kenny, intercepted though by Mark Elliott. That's the former king who got the speed to get away. Mark Elliott, Henry Paul gets close to him. Now it's Teatro 2 who must regroup five. McIntosh, Pedal Marta, they've got a line up at wide, McIntosh. Now it's Tottery, McIntyre, and look at the goal, McIntyre. Well, if this 
is what we can expect for the next 75 minutes. We are in for a cracker of the match. John Arie McIntyre evens it up. It's for all. Well, that's a sign of a true champion team. Straight away, they've hit back again. Fired the ball out. Too many men out on the left. Straight out to McIntyre. Great passing. And he had an open line. Had a little bit of work to do to get over in the corner, and he did it well. Yeah, great try from McIntyre. North Coast, you just can't count them out. Earlier, he does it again. Great intercept. Great ball here from Kitty McIntosh. Knew that Nukunuku was in. Oh, fantastic pass. He had a bit of work to do. I thought George should have made that tackle, but he's gone straight past him. Oh, good try. David McIntosh from about a half a metre in from the railway stand touch. He likes the look of it. What a conversion. What a confident start by the North Coast skipper. The Tigers have it by six points to four after ten minutes of the first half. Kenny has it for Tiara two. Henry Paul. Now it's a penalty to North Coast and that's a bad mistake by the youngster because it's well and truly within kicking distance right in front of the uprights, 30 metres out. Henry Paul tried to sneak away with this one, but there was the marker there. Ten got there just Ooh, in time. He got there a little bit late, though, the marker, didn't he? Even Stevens in the penalty count. But a chance for Northcote to go further ahead on the scoreboard. Dave McIntosh. He makes no mistake. Northcote leads out of two in the 93 grand final by eight points to four. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this. That's by a far the North Coast winger. Now it's Henry Paul. Robarts. Again, the pass went astray. But Carline picks it up. Number five is Robbie Paul, only 17 years of age, the young Diallo 2 winger. Represented Auckland at the under-17 tournament recently. Big day for him. And this is Ryan. Yeah, Tiana 2 losing a little bit on their execution. Their pass is just going behind the man. But you've got to put a lot of that down to Northcote. They're, uh, they're a well dressed side. They're, uh, they're tackling very well and they're bustling Tiana 2. I think you're right there, Kurt, but Tiana 2 are helping them in a lot of areas. They're just not playing a contained game and they're not putting the ball in their, in their 22. Well, they're starting to fall off tackles, Tiana 2. That was a good run from Helso, Phillips, Richard Greer, Poaching, out of one, Willie really Poaching, out of two. Good run by the loose forward. The supporters there through Palmada. Now there was a swinging arm in there. And this will be another penalty, and it should be easy kicking distance for McIntosh. Kalassi called out there. I think you'll find that it uh, was a great run here from Poaching. Ball onto Palmada. And Robards knew what he had to do. He had to tie him up. Apologies, it was number eight, Mark Chambers. What a day for Robbie Paul, only 17 years of age. Brother of Henry Paul, who's only a year or so older. And he's playing at standoff, Henry. three in the penalty department and this attempt from Dave McIntosh is only a couple of meters to the right of where he landed his last penalty 100% for the captain so far three from three for McIntosh Northcote out to a handy lead 10 points to four after 27 minutes of play Peter Brown's the other two I think uh, they should be a little bit worried at this stage. They must pick it up. 
Yeah, Greg, I just can't understand. We're not we're not playing a good style of football. We're just all one off it, off the ruck, as Kurt said. We're not running in twos. In our kicking game, we're just kicking at the wrong time. So if they want to get in this game, they've got to start it in this last 20 minutes of the first half. Support from Ely here, short ball off our forward. And this is the type of play that uh, Ely's got to get involved in. If one of them stick and he threw a gap that was in front of him right before, it shut the gate. What do you think, Kurt, about uh, Henry Paul with his attacking options? He seems to be cutting in too much for my, for my mind. He seems to be playing a little bit for himself. Uh, you know, he holds the ball out in front grade. He's got a great step. Possibly should be maybe looking to uh, offload the ball a little bit more and, and just wait for the gap to come to him, because it'll come. Michael Kinney trying to find a gap only 10 metres out in front of the uprights. Robots, Ryan, Stephen Ryan. Final tackle on the way. Tagaloa, Bailey, there's the ball. Might be a bit too big. No, it's weighted pretty well. Bounces clear. Oh, and Ely is there to clean up. What a mix-up in goal by the North Coast Tigers. A lucky escape. Ely had to go back and dive on it. Via Thor. Yeah, well, this is a superb kick from Bailey. Had snow on it, but Tianatu didn't have anybody to take the scratch. There was no one following up for the ball. scrum 30 meters out for the scrum and you can see the cloud closing in on Carlo Park perfect conditions up until now first of the umbrellas up Kitty still it's Tiana to in the old position half but still, they are behind on the scoreboard. Ryan, one out stuff again. But they mount the challenge, the Roosters. They're only eight metres out. Kenny, long ball, and it's up the Just like he did at the major semi final a couple of weeks ago. Robbie Ball is coming at him. He's going to have too much pace. That's going to be a six pointer. Just think about what might have been the second try to the Tigers. Yeah, well, the long ball out from Kenny, the floater, and Ely was, he had his eyes on it the whole way. Plucked it out of the air. No one was quick enough to get him. Plenty of determination on his face. He's still got the pace to go the length of the field. Yeah, great, great play from Mark Ely. He does it time and time and again, so it just can't be a fluke. He's got the timing to do it. Tiata two just taking the wrong option then. Mike Kinney should have been playing the short ball, turning a man inside, but Mark's just gone here. Great, great score for Northcote, and has put them on it with a stronghold on the game at this stage. Former Kiwi, Mark Elia. And Mark Elia actually played in the Tiata two team that won the grand final back in 1988. His boss, Gary Campbell. Now, Gary has never won a Fox final as a player. This is his big day. Yeah. McIntosh hands the extras. 
It is 16 points to four. Mark Ilya, the try scorer. Northcote have it over Tiana two with about eight minutes to go in the first half. Big day today for the Kiwi selectors. Ray Hafford is the convener of that selection panel. They named their 26-man touring squad. Bruce Castle, Keith Roberts and Joe Gwynn. Oh, some rain falling at Carlaw now. And Northcote have a snap of it. They're just growing in confidence. Allowed to offload Richard Greer. A high tackle from Henry Paul. A penalty to the Tigers. Well, Henry Paul's really just trying to shut down the ball here. Wasn't a particularly dangerous type of tackle. Young man with a lot of responsibility, the junior Kiwi captain. It's a vital position at standoff. They just need to settle down. David McIntosh on a 10th is penalty. Northcote creeping ahead in the penalty department, six to three. Sell 100% for McIntosh, but this will be difficult with the driving rain falling now. A real shame because it was ideal as far as the weather goes at the start of this match. 45 metres out, almost in front. Yes! Just scraped over. Another handy two points for the Tigers. They lead by 18 points to four. The crowd diving for cover on the concrete terraces. The restart again from Henry Paul. And Peter Brown, the Tiana 2 coach, Juan O'Regan certainly going to have plenty to tuck, say at half time. Yeah, I think you will, Ronnie. He'll be disappointed. We're just we're not playing the style of game he likes to play. We're not controlling the ball. But North Carolina, they're a great side. They just took everything right, just down to, to the intercept, to the kicking goals. Everything's to a plan, and they do it exactly how they want it. Andrew Brown. Well, I think that ball looked like it was stripped from Brown then. They played the first knock on. Tiana 2's coach, Mono Regan. Oh, yeah, I think the ball was stripped from the Tiana 2 player on his back. In fact, the knock on has gone against Tiana 2. The Tigers have it on the halfway line. Patrick Hellaso, taken by David Bailey. He's had a quiet first half, I think, Patrick, although he's had a very good rep season for Auckland this year. Hasn't really got into the game yet. By a foul, pushes Kenny out of the way. Far so far, again, he's allowed to upload. Davies. Greer. Poaching. Ducked under a couple of holes. and it will be a feed into the scrum for Northcote. The Tiana 2 are lucky to get away with that one. Touch judge in reporting something. Yeah, we're seeing some miracle balls from Northcote. Fortunate for Tiana 2, I think if they hadn't knocked that ball down on it, was another Northcote try. Well, the Brewster's defence really can't allow another North Coast try. 
About three or four minutes to half time, they're down by 18 to 4, Tiana 2, and it's North Coast. Good fend from Pelmana. Only three metres out. Greer. Davies. Brown it was, in fact. McIntosh. Ilya. but people thought an upset was on the cards the way Tiana Till been played, but they've been shut out of it. Yeah, too many tackles and just too much pressure. They've worked around, they've worked around the ball for the last couple of minutes. They've bumped off players of unloaded balls. Good ball from McIntosh there. Good step inside from Elia. He's making his mark on the game. Yeah, the old pro Mark Elia, he's done it before and he's done it again today. Northcote are just doing what they wanted to stay. Tiana Till got no answer. But I think the position in, in Tiaratu's half showing at this stage. Great try from Mark. He's a big match player, isn't he, Mark Elia? Must be so good to have a player with his experience around uh, quite a few young players in this Northcote lineup. No talk of retirement either, so we might be seeing quite a few more of try those sorts of tries from Elia. Well, here he's, he's looking for a Super League club. Someone could have their eye out on him today, I think. Well, the Raiders certainly hit town now. Marvellous contribution so far from the skipper, David McIntosh. It's still 100%. 24 points to four. The Tigers from Northcote over to Attitude. Two minutes to half time. Well, Kurt Sherlock, uh, what's the story now? Uh, well, mate, I was just going to have to stay awake. I was just going to ask Brownie what the go was. He's played with a lot of these players. What do you reckon, Brownie? Can they come back from here? Yeah, I've got no doubt they can, Kurt, but I, the only thing I doubt is that Northcote won't let them. They're a great side, Northcote, and they just wrap the game up now. That's all the feeling I've got. The only thing that I can think of that's uh, going to go for Tiana to is that they do type, play the type of game where they throw the ball around and they can unload it. They've just got to get hold of a bit of possession and keep it for, for a period of time. Keep the ball off, off Northcote. But they have dominated possession in the opposition half, but they haven't been able to penetrate down there. That's where the Northcote defence has been superb. Yeah, good kick from the Tigers again. A double so far for Elia. He'll be looking for the triple. Robots. Henry Paul. Throwing it around on their own 20. Robots. I tell you what, this bloke only knows one way to go. Straight up the middle. Yeah, he's a fantastic player for Robots. Well, despite being down on the scoreboard, you can see there that the attitude have had the possession in North Coast Territory. They haven't been able to convert the points. They scored the first try, but they've been on the scrap heap since then. Can they pull something out of the bag just before half time in the 93 Fox Memorial Grand Final? Hope you enjoyed the action on One World of Sport. That is the half time siren. What a great first 40 for the defending champions, the North Coast Tigers, who are trying to make it three grand finals in a row. They're in front by 20 points. They lead by 24 to 4. North Coast have it by 24 to 4. Now, this is the story of the first half. North Coast, 81 tackles. Greer doing a good job along with Davies for Teatro 2. Edwards 12 and Chambers 11. The Teatro 2 Roosters need to score first, surely, in the second half. Robots, good strong run, good start. 
Well, I don't want to remind our experts about their pre-match predictions, but Kurt Sherlock, you thought that the Roosters might be able to do it today. They've still got a chance, but gee, they're going to have to lift their game. Well, they're a bit of a long shot now. They're going to do it tough in the second half, but uh, yeah, I hope I haven't put the mocker on them. My, my calls, uh, my picks in the last few weeks haven't been too crash hot, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll still get a good game about, out of it in the second half. Peter Brown, what was the message to the Teatro Two Roosters at half time? Well, Ronald Regan virtually picked up the points. I said that the markers lying on the ground, not getting up and giving uh, North Dakota hassle when they got the ball. But uh, other than that, he just said, "Look, boys, just go out there and give you your best shot and throw the ball around." Teatro Two looking for points. Mark Chambers. Come on, and for North Coast, I reckon uh, Gary Kemper wouldn't have had too much to complain about. Well, the sun is back again. And here in Auckland, we get four seasons in the one day. Maybe not too much snow. In fact, probably none at all. But we get everything else, I tell you. Henry Paul. Still going. The Roosters need to convert this good field position into points. If they're to get out of this one down by 20. David Bailey, he needs to inject himself. He's the class player in their back line. Good kick, it's lying loose. North can't have it. It'll be a gold mouth dropout. Well, this is good pressure and it's simple stuff, you know, putting the opposition down in their own in their own goal mouth. Janet two are gonna get the ball back again, another set of six. Good take from Edwards. Now it's Robots. Phil Robots. Ryan launches himself at them. 15 metres out. Robots. Ryan. He's left it behind. And they've given it away. McIntosh ducked under one. Tackled by Jim Paul, 14, the replacement. Greer. It was the Teatro two backs who were very dangerous against Richmond in the preliminary final last week, but we really haven't seen the ball move along the back line, have we? No, no, we haven't. Uh... And with David Bailey out there, you know, maybe he hasn't he has seen to too much of the ball, although. It was, as we see, another knock on. Uh, the, the North Coast backs haven't seen a hell of a lot of ball either. It's been a pretty tired struggle up the middle. And the referee says play on, and North Coast have it again for another set of six. Phillips. They just keep grafting away, the North Coast Tigers. Big match players, plenty of experience. They're going for three grand finals in a row, and they're playing with confidence at the moment. Vasu will fire. Poaching. Nobody's home. The bounce doesn't really favour anybody. It's in the touch. Willie Poe Ching is uh, returning to the field after receiving a bit of treatment. Play on now. Kenny. Henry Paul. Tagaloa. Can't get it from Patrick Halliso and Kenny McIntosh. Carline. Now he hasn't had any opportunities either. The other centre for Teatro 2. I'm tending to think maybe the reason for that is uh, Mike Kinney and, uh, and Henry Paul have been holding on the ball, on to the ball a little bit too much, Brownie. What, what do you think? Yeah, you're probably right, Kurt. Uh, Teatro 2. But then overall, they're just not getting the position they want in the right area of the field, and they're not doing enough with it. North Coast are just closing the game up now. They, they've got control of things, but I think Teatro 2 really have got to look for better options on attack. 
at the grand final breakfast at the Auckland Centre Hotel on Friday. One of the Tiara two wingers. I thought he was joking when he said that uh, if we got the ball through the halfback and the standoff, I might get an opportunity on Sunday. But I think he was hinting then that he'd like to see a bit more ball. And we haven't seen George Nuku Nuku with the ball. Has he touched the ball yet today? No. Right on halfway, Northgate going through the motions. Jim Paul's out at the moment. He just took a big hit from far so far, and he's he's out. Marcel Thaler back inside to Elia. The Tigers stretched. That's Halaso, Patrick Halaso. He's so close. And there's a little knock on in there. So after all that, it'll be Tiana two that come away with it. Well, he's ever so close. Look, only a half a metre away. And there's a, knock a little on. knock on there. <laughs> Kenny puts it in. The referee wants it in again, though. <laughs> Let's have another look at this. Good effort by Hellaso, just dragged down, short of the line. <laughs> Dungaloa from fullback. Still plenty of time for the Roosters to get back into it. Noko Noko, he's touched the ball at long last. 25 metres out from the Roosters line. 30 minutes to go. Chambers. Penalty to Tiana too. Also relieve a bit of pressure for them. Two. Fumbling 12. 12 to 8. Tiana 2 the North Garden, the handling errors. Another penalty. Yeah, pretty strong front up tackle there, coming over uh, just a little bit over the top. Yeah, I think he was actually falling then, Kurt, as, as he went into the tackle. So, we are, to be fair, on Andrew Brown. Yeah, but what? But by the same token, you can't go in with a swinging arm. You've got to hit with your shoulder. Yeah, fair enough. And that is the second knock within a couple of minutes for Jim Paul. The Roosters, can they lift themselves? Mark Chambers, 10 metres out. Ryan. Just one out stuff at the moment. It's not enough to break this North Coast defence. Is it? Yeah, I think he saw the line open then. He's looking at the line before he got the ball. There he goes, strong run. Oh, very good tackle, good tackle from half hour. Yeah, Jim Paul's coming off and uh, number 15, Cohen Tuata is coming on. It's unfortunate to see the stretch it call for Jim Paul. He's tried hard, Jim Paul, while he's been on the field. So the replacement to Taha. Yeah, Glenn Palmer's gone on for Andrew Brown. Well, we hope it's not too serious, that injury to Jim Paul. Scrums, Tiana 2 have them by 7-3. to three. All of them going with the feed.
Tiana two. Oh. left it behind, not back though, a lucky escape with the other two, and Robart takes on this North Coast defence. 15, Carwin to Taha, the replacement. Now Arnold on the back line and standing out there is the front row Mark Chambers. 15 for the Tigers is Glenn Palmer. Kick and chase. And just as George Nooker, Nooker has gone into the advertising hoardings there. He's okay. Thank goodness for that. He flew into it. You can't question his enthusiasm and determination. The kick and chase from Henry Paul. Just a little bit too long on the end. And look for Nooker, Nooker. McIntosh into open spaces and into touch. Good kick. Good kick. Both both teams are kicking quite early in the tackle count at this stage of the game and. Uh, Good kick from Northcote. Yeah, they've had the best of the uh, kicking games today, haven't they? They have. Yeah, you've got to admire Northcote, they're a professional side, you know, with that sort of a lead, the, the tendency is here to throw it around, but they still stick to what they've been told. Go, go, go. Henry Paul. 24 to 4 after 14 minutes of the second half. Penalty to the attitude. Peter Brown, sideline, what's the word on the condition of Jim Paul, who we saw stretch it off? Yeah, I think he took a bad knock initially when he tried to take a fist so far, but he's got concussion now. Dennis Howell, the referee today. Anthony Edwards on the halfway. Ryan. Another penalty to Tianatu. Robots, the quick tap. He steals 10 metres or so. Good run. He scored the only try, and it was the first try of the match, too. Down the blind, Ryan takes them on. But it's still one out stuff. They need to support each other a little more. Kenny. He had a line up out wide, and Getty took them on on his own. Kenny, Mike Kenny trying to find a gap, just couldn't free the hands. Good last line of defence by Northcote. Henry Paul trying to step his way through. Now it's the final tackle. You have to admire the Northcote defence. Kenny, there's the kick straight into the arms of Jason Palmata. Not a great kick at all. They've got close with the ball high in the air. The bomb, why aren't they doing it? Yeah, they haven't been putting the ball high in the air. They've got to try that. Otherwise, they're better off just to keep the ball in hand and have a crack at the line. Via fire. Out of a couple, the big winger. Look at that. There's four, maybe five of them in there at one stage. Northcote. Well, that's uh, an interesting statistic because the other two have had more of the ball. So full credit to Northcote, their defence has been good and they've been able to convert whatever possession they've had into points and a good ball from Afar. Out to Palmer, right on halfway. Final tackle on the way. Kelso down the blind. The kick and chase over the head of Tangaloa. Good chasing from Kelso and uh, Tangaloa is just a little too good for him though. Ten metres out from the Tiana two line. We haven't seen much of this youngster. The 17-year-old Auckland representative, Robbie Paul, out to his brother, Henry Paul. Robots. Well, I 
after crashing into the advertising hoarding. Nokunoku getting some treatment for his shoulder. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Matthew Smith coming on for George Nokunoku, number 16 for Tiaru. Oh, that's a shame. Nokunoku is the number one goal kicker, but I guess they've still got David Bailey. That's if they can ever get within range of either a penalty or a conversion, but surely penalties are out of the question at the moment for Tiaru too. John Ray McIntyre, taken out by his own player, Glenn Tyler. The crowd loved that. I suppose you can afford to laugh at it when you're 20 points ahead. The Tigers, the defending champs, 24 to 4. They've dominated Auckland Rugby League in recent years. Palmata. Now it's Bria back inside to Palmata. Jason Palmata. finishes in the game in New Zealand. It was a super run from Palmata. He showed us last week what he can do when he's running out wide. He got a good ball from Greer, slipped away from a couple of tackles, and this ball around the back, superb ball to Arfoa. He gave Arfoa every chance, but a great tackle from Henry Paul. Yeah, great play. Great play from Palmata. He's given it a great ball to uh, Afar here. Afar, I just can't understand why he's not on the Auckland side. He's a great finisher. Great tackle here from the Ted 2 cover. Afar. Browning, what do you reckon with the uh, Kiwi selectors here today? And... Uh, naming the team to go away tonight you reckon there could be possibly a bowl to come from a game like this today oh i don't think so kurt i think that they virtually basically picked their side it's just a matter of setting out a couple of things here's a chance for north Coast. this time they won't put him into touch in fact he throws it into willie poaching and that's what makes north Coast the tigers a champion team they can make something out of nothing that surely has sealed it willie poaching does the shuffle Gary Campbell is happy, the coach. Good take yeah. from McIntosh. Superb take. Great run from Poaching. He's had a good game all day. He's been running hard. Out to half hour. And inside, great try. Yeah, they're showing a bit of flair now. North Coast, Kalima's done a great thing. He looked inside, looked outside, and the was there. He just went straight past him. Good ball inside to Poaching. Good backing up on the inside, as every good player should. He yeah, started with Kenny McIntosh. Cal Lima had a big hand in it. He'll be happy. He's only been on the field for a minute or two. And all the cover had to get across to the big man, Arfoa. And Willie Poaching, the warrior in 95, is delighted. Former junior Kiwi captain, Willie Poaching, played in the grand final. He was on the bench for Mount Albert last year. Now Ian Robson from the Warriors will be pretty happy with the effort there from Po Ching, no doubt thinking about what might be in a couple of years. Marvellous contribution from David McIntosh. 100% with the boot. There have been a couple of easy ones in there, but also a couple of reasonably hard ones. One meter in from touch, having plenty of air. This time he's not going to have the distance or the direction. So it's 28 to four. Northcote over to the other two. The Kiwi coach, Howie Tarman, talking to Keith Roberts and uh, their other selector there, John O'Sullivan. Just having a last look at the talent on display before naming the 26-man Kiwi touring squad to head to Great Britain later on this month. Phillips. McIntosh, Vasu Afoa, Willie Poaching. Oh, have a look at that. That's the worrying statistic, isn't it? As Kenny McIntosh goes for the field goal, there's another one. 
chalk up another single for North Coast. 29 points to four now. Ken McIntosh doing the damage there, and it smiles all round on the Tigers bench. Still, Tiana to have the uh, statistics in their favour as far as possession goes. Northcote closing the gaps, though. Henry Paul. Throw it out to nobody. Carline. Robbie Paul. I'll tell you what, what would be an interesting statistic, though, and that would be to see how many sets of six Tiatatu have actually held onto the ball, because I think you'd find that would be heavily weighted in Northcote's favour. Well, it's back to one now. Tiatatu lucky to get away with that one. Robots. Edwards hasn't stopped trying all day. 11 metres out. Robots trying to sneak his second try of the match. To Taha. Out to Ryan. He forced the pass. Well, how, do you, how do you play against a team like this? They're just as desperate not to give away a try as they are to give away their premiership. And that's a pretty hard team to play against. Yeah, they're a professional outfit, mate. Get it to put everything into this game, but it's just come down to the North Coast, a better prepared and overall a better professional side, I think. I was actually, I was reading in the paper, a quote from uh, Dave McIntosh, and he was saying that they actually trained four times a week. Well, I'll tell you, that was more times than, than we used to train at East over in Sydney. What are you trying to say, that you weren't professional? <laughs> I bet these guys out here would have liked your paycheck, though. <laughs> Phil Smith. Palliso. And that's a beautifully weighted kick. Got a good bounce. The scrabble pack down 20 metres out from the Tiana 2 line. You know, this is the kind of kick that'll break your heart when you're, when you're down 20 points and you're in the forwards and you're absolutely stuffed. I'm going to turn around and watch that. With the Lion Red Cup happening next year, the National Club competition, there's one against the feed. Northcote. This means a lot to the Northcote Tigers because a lot of these players will be playing in the National Club competition and not the Auckland Championship next year. And Dyer Fowler is hugging for a try. Still going, gets it out to Bill Smith. No, not quite. McIntosh, he loses it. Tiana 2 will come away with it. Now it's a penalty to the Roosters. McIntosh, smothered by the defence. Tackle straight in the arms of our follower, but there's a penalty. The touch judges in. Henry Paul is okay, he's on his feet, but he copped a high one. Yeah, well, this is a pretty bad stiff arm coming across. That's a bad swing at arm. Well, Ken McIntosh has been, been given 10 minutes in the bin. Northcote down to 12, but they've got it so it up. Well, that'll end McIntosh's game. set of six, Robarts. The defence smothers him up, only a metre out. Northcote, 29 points to four ahead with a minute or two to go. To Taha. Since scoring the first try of the match, really, Tiana 2 haven't looked like scoring since. Now it's out wide. Tangaloa up into the line. Lawrence Tangaloa. David Bailey waits for it. To Taha. Inside to Ryan, Steve Ryan. They're throwing the old punch. A bit of pushing and shoving going on. It's a shame, really. Been played in pretty good spirit. 
Yeah, Steve Ryan didn't like something in there. A little bit of frustration from the Tiata 2 player, pushing out at his marker. But they managed to get away with the penalty. And Robarts has a go. Oh, Edwards in dummy half, trying to force his way across. At long last, it's come way too late. But Tiata 2 get the try. Anthony Edwards, the front row does it. 29 points to 8 now. They won't be celebrating too much because they know that they let it slip away in the first half. Well, I'm sure they're not going to like losing, but uh, that try is probably going to soften it a little bit for them. Yeah, good, good work from Anthony Eagles. I think he's played well all game. He's taken the ball up well. He's put so pretty commitment and he deserves that try at the end of the pot. Yeah, it was just sheer determination. And Fred Robarts tried hard before that. It's been pretty much one out stuff by the attitude. And we've put the hands down, the head down rather, and too much power. Just get a little fast, bro. The try scorer, Anthony Edwards. It was unconverted. No, in fact, it was converted, so it's 29 points to 10. Many of these Tiana 2 players will line up for the Waitakere Raiders, coached by Ronald Regan in the Line Red Cup. Mike Davies into injury time now. A long range field goal with no pressure on him. It's a shotgun. As the siren sounds, it's all over in 93. Dave McIntosh has to go back and try and retrieve that kick from Tiana 2 that went into touch. Gary Campbell, he's happy. He's finally won a Fox Memorial gold medal. He couldn't do it as a player, but the great Kiwi fullback and now promising coach Campbell has won his first Fox. Smiles all around. Congratulations to the North Coast Tigers. They led by 24 to 4 at half time. They won it by 29 points to 10. They're delighted, and why not?